Blog Talk Radio. It's the Ed Show, not the Ted Show. It's the sit back, relax in your bed show. It's the Ed Show. Come on to the Ed Show. You can talk to Ed on the Ed Show. Hey, Franklin, you was asking that lady. You was asking that lady out, Franklin. Yeah, what? What she say? Yeah, she's married. She said she was married. <laughs> oh, hold on, the show started. Hello. I hey, listen. Huh? What you say? I don't really care. Nah, it don't even matter. Hold on, my show started because the music already went off. I gotta say something. Hey, everybody. Hey, listen. It's your friend Ed. It's uh, Saturday night. It's Thursday night. I tricked myself. It's Friday night on a special edition of the Ed Show. And uh, tonight, me and Franklin, we at the mall doing some midnight madness shopping. We at the mall right now. Franklin was just trying to talk to the lady and said a little fuzzy wuzzy though. Alarm went off at the coach store. Uh oh. It wasn't us. We didn't steal the bag out of there. We looking. And uh, he tried to ask her out and she said no. Nah, she was married. He said he didn't care. He tried to ask out the girl at the Nike store early. But uh, she didn't do it either. She said she worked 24 hours a day. They got tap out. Tap out t-shirts. Value price. For boys. Curious George T-shirts. This mall got everything. All right. Well, listen. Hey, number one nine. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Ed. Yeah, we in the mall shopping. Where you at? Uh, I'm at my house. I bought some new tennis shoes. What kind? Nike. Nike. Yeah. Huh. It's a hundred forty-nine dollar. Now, why do you need a hundred and forty-nine dollar tennis shoes? That's how much the tickets said they cost. Yeah, but you why do you need you, shoes you, that are that expensive? It's not like you're an athlete or you, you do any exercise really at all. You pretty much just sit in a chair. Gotta. No, I walk around all the time. I'm walking around the mall right now. Yeah, but do you need $150 shoes to walk around the mall? It's 149 not 150 Oh, I'm sorry. I'm walking by Designer Fragrance Store right now. They got the Employment Opportunities Inquire Within. Are are you going to inquire? Uh, uh-uh, I'm walking right by it. All right. There's an ugly lady working in there. He's looking for the Toys R Us outlet. They, oh, we're about to walk in Toys R Us outlet right now. Well, are you you're going to look for football men? Yeah. See All if right, they keep, get them in here. Posted. Franklin said cheese and rice when we walked in here. I just walked by a Chinese lady with a baby. Oh, okay. Uh, so how was your Thanksgiving, Ed? Oh, uh, yeah, we had it. It was uh, Thanksgiving time, and people, uh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. They, uh, yeah, be careful. Yeah we, had, yeah, we had Thanksgiving time, and people ate the turkey, and all that was still good. We had it. So so who was all at the big Thanksgiving feast? You, Franklin, the baby, your your son? Yeah. Uh-huh. The girl was little ugly boy there? Was there. Oh, they got a horn swaggle. Oh, I gotta see how much they want for it. Eight ninety nine. Yeah. Horn swaggles. Nine ninety nine. The the Ed loves his horn swaggle. I'm gonna buy that one. You're gonna buy horn yeah. swaggle. Yeah, horn swaggle's hard to get. Yeah. Looks like when they got horn swaggle. My nigga. Don't call me that in a, in a public setting. He said, "Come on, nigga." Oh, Franklin. Yeah. Hey, you guys got any of those football men, like the McFarland football people? McFarland, I don't think they love that. You don't got those with the wrestling people, huh? Yeah. Uh, yep, all they got the wrestling people. Hmm. I don't know if I want this horn swaggle kid. I don't know. Yeah, we're just looking around the thing. We're looking around the store. Uh, it's Black Friday, the, uh, the biggest shopping day of the year. Yeah, I know. There's been more seats out than anything. Yeah. Probably. They doing it all. They got everything that you can imagine. Oops, sorry. Are you I'm walking into people? Walking into the people, yeah. Yeah, be careful. 
Well, it doesn't sound like you got much of a deal on the uh, on the tennis shoes there. No, they was one hundred and forty nine dollars. Regularly one hundred and seventy nine, but they was one hundred and forty nine. I got them for. Lord. Yeah, Michael Jordan. So what else are you looking for, Ed? I don't know. I'm just looking around. Let's go, Franklin. Yeah, well, I told Franklin it's time to go. They ain't, it, they ain't got nothing in this store. We're going to leave this store. Maybe Franklin Strunt wants to hit on a uh, Toys R Us employee. I don't know. They ain't good looking. Uh, all right. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. No, I, I wonder if anybody going to hear the show tonight. Yeah, I, I would I would imagine people will hear it. You know, you're very popular in the end. Nah, I don't know. You know the show is now number 53 out of 7,500 shows on a goddamn blog talk. I saw that, yeah. I know. I'm hoping somehow you give me some money for this. Um, I thought you were supposed to give me money for this. Nah, you're supposed to find... Your job is to find me uh conspiracy people for the show to sponsor oh. Oh, okay. I'll see what I can yeah. do. Where's Franklin? I lost him. They got a big, they got a car you can put a quarter in and, and sit on it and, and move around. I, I might do it. Yeah, I I'd know. like to see that. Yeah. Well, look at it. See the car right here? It's gray. Well, I can't it's see it because one. we're talking on the phone. Yeah, and it's I right can't. here. Look. Open yeah, your eyes. Look. Once, once again, right if we're talking on the phone, I can't see the car. Yeah, and then they got an airplane. See, look at this airplane. Look how it's got the maneuver thing. Oh, it's fifty cent. Man, raise the. It's a fifty cent quarters only. Chilled must be supervised by an adult at all times. Where is Franklin? Why is Franklin still in the goddamn toy store? Oh man, he over there messing with the Chinese kids, man. See, oh, yeah. leave them kids alone, man. Leave them kids alone. I said, hey, Franklin, leave them kids alone. Hey, Frank, Franklin, you was messing with them Chinese kids? I was messing with their mom. Oh, you was messing with their mom. You touch your boobs? They got no boobs. They don't got no boobs. Chinese girls don't got no boobs, he said. <laughs> uh, I believe it. We, are you going to get on Frank, the little car there? Yeah, are you going to get on the car? Now we're walking by the, walking by the uh, carousel. Now, carousel rides is $2 a ride to get on the carousel. Yeah. Yeah, get on the carousel. Let's go. Nah, I get dizzy on that thing, man. Get dizzy. Franklin has had two of those big, tall beers. He was drinking his beer through the mall earlier. He just finished it and threw it in the trash can. i never seen nobody walk through the mall with a beer. Yeah, I think that's frowned upon. I don't think you're supposed to be doing that. Number one nine said that's frowned upon, man, to be drinking a beer in the mall. You think it is, huh? Not when you're drinking it. He said not when you're the one drinking it. <laughs> I guess not. Yeah, they got a massage. The they got massage people in the mall, too. But Why they don't, don't you get a like, massage? Nah, because Franklin said these ones don't give happy endings at the mall. Oh. Uh, no. So I don't know. They might. But it's a guy doing it. You don't want to get out happy in from a dude. Uh-uh. Nope. You sure don't. MJ Martin called me a little while ago. What do you want? Wouldn't know if I was having a show tonight. I said, yeah. yeah. Then he starts some rumor on the message thing about uh, I like Jay Cutler. Man, I don't like no goddamn Jay Cutler. I, I must have been drunk that time. If I said anything good about him, I'd take it back. Yeah, apparently M.J. Martin claims on a past show you said that Jay Cutler has a great arm and that he's even better than John Elway. That one day he could be better than John Elway. Oh, he might he might be better than John Elway because he's a bum. Yeah, you don't like John but, uh, Elway either, huh? Uh-uh. No, no. No, we don't even want him on the Colts, man. That's right. He, he was drafted by the Colts, Colts. And, he, and he wanted to play there. And he cried about it. Oh, I don't want to be on the Colts. Ah. Hey, what's this on the message thing I think? Somebody start a Wick, Wicker page for me. Yeah, and then they Wikipedia. tore it down. Then they tore it down. Yeah, uh, I think our buddy the whale is trying to to start a Wikipedia page for you. And then they deleted it because apparently the uh, editors the over there at the uh, the wiki they they thought you were fake. 
They didn't think you existed. Like you didn't exist. Not at all. Want me to call him? I would like that, yes. Uh, um, what's the number? Yeah, I don't have it. Why would they? Don't they hear my show and see me on the TV? Yeah, I, I don't think they do see you on the. Well, I don't see you on the TV either, but. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, all, all kind of stuff, man. I was in a fight, and they, they passed me in the crowd. They passed me in the crowd to the football game, Texas Tech, Texas. They did a shot, and I was right there. At the Kansas Texas Tech basketball game. You were wearing a black t shirt, if I remember. Yeah. Yeah, Texas Tech shirt. I lost Frank one again, Jesus Christ. Oh, he went over back to talk to that lady with the fuzzy thing. See, I don't and know what that means. To... But you said it's a store called Mr. Fuzzy. I don't know what that means. Some kind of god dang thing, man. It's fuzzy. I don't know what the hell it is. A Mr. Fuzzy store, it's thanks. Mr. Fuzzy. Well, what do they sell at the Mr. Fuzzy store? Yeah, they sell Mr. Fuzzy. Little god dang. Hey, what's a Mr. Fuzzy? Oh, what's a Mr. Fuzzy? What's that? You were talking to the lady. You didn't say nothing to her? So Mary. Oh, she's still married. She ain't got divorced yet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know. Yeah. I still got $6,400 in my pocket. Now, nah, no thank you. What, what you got there? What is that? Clip it to your phone. Clip it to my phone. Any phone. Yeah. You can hear the door from the session from the speaker to break out. I'm going to hear what? You can hear the door from the session to talk like this. Yeah. You can talk to the couch. On my cell phone? Come with TV. No, don't get that. Oh, come on. Uh, how, much, how much that thing cost? One million dollars. A million dollars? No, huh? Come on, the man. Today, this is the regular price. So long to give me all the tickets to play in 45. 45 hours? Yeah. Car? Car, cry baby? It's called the cry baby? Don't cry. Car baby. Car baby. Car baby. Car baby. Wow, change free. I like talking like this. So you like to drive and talk like this? Don't take it that direction. I don't drive, man. He drives, and he's been drinking. Oh, that's dangerous too. What's more dangerous, drinking and driving, or talking on the phone and driving? Smoke, to drink, and to talk. Smoke. I think it's I think it's good. I don't. I don't smoke and drive. No. You just drink and drive. Just, he does, not me. He, <laughs> all the kids. Yeah. Now, I, when you drink and drive, you talk like this. <laughs> I don't talk. I, I got to talk. I got to talk on the phone, and he drink and drive. All right. Hey. Hello. Yeah, the Ed. Yeah, we were talking to the guy that sold the car, baby. Yeah, we heard, yeah. You could hear the guy talking? Yes. He's from some other country. Yeah, Probably it's from, like, Missouri, it sounds like. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, uh, you got anybody calling tonight? Uh, well, we haven't given out the number yet, so if uh, people would like to call in, uh, if you'd like to talk to the Ed, 646-716-7522. And when you call uh, and you want to talk to the Ed, press the little one on your telephone machine there, and oh. and we'll, it'll let us know that you want to talk to the Ed. Guess how much money I got in my pocket tonight? $6,400. Yep, <laughs> you know. I'm very good. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yep, I got $6,400 in my pocket. Why had, do you have that much, why do you have so much money in your pocket? Uh, I, not a lot. I mean, it's just a regular amount that you should probably have when you go on Black Friday. No, see, I, I usually have 20, 30 bucks in my pocket. You have $6,400. I thought it was 7000 I said $600 today. Did you just win a parlay or something? Why do you have that much money? No, I went to the bank and got it out. How do you have that much money in the bank? Man, I got a whole bunch of money in the bank. What are you talking about? That's where they keep it. Yeah, yeah, but you get two checks from the government each month, and uh, they're not that much money. So where are you getting all this other money? I got a $4,400 check the other day. From the government? Yeah. What? They send you $4,400 every month? No, I get, 
I'm, I'm not sure. Sometimes they send less. Sometimes they send me more. Depends on whatever they send. I open it up, and then I say, how much money are you give me? And then they said a Santa Claus right there. Santa Claus then trimmed his beard up. It's short this year. Oh. I done lost Franklin again. Jesus Christ, where'd he go? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, here he comes. He's talking to some other foreign lady. This wow. guy likes him. He like ladies that, that don't speak English, probably because they can't say no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, before you told me before. Yeah. Don't, didn't you say you don't like foreign ladies? You like foreign ladies because they don't say no? Got that right. Yeah, that's what he said. That's a young one. Yeah, he said that's the young one. That's what he said. What did you say? What was that one thing you said when your when your girlfriend? Oh, his girlfriend called him a pedophile one time. Yeah, that's a mighty big word for, for a ten year old. He said that's a mighty <laughs> big word for a ten year old. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Yeah, that's what he said, man. So, yeah. so Franklin Franklin is back for good in Vegas. He he's done with Colorado. He's back are you back in. for good? Are you back for good, or are you going back to Colorado? Go back to Colorado. When are you going back? First year. Don't don't skip me on the rent, man. I need my money. I need he my money. He, he said he's going back first of the year. Yeah, first of the year. He said he's going back. Well, that means you're going to have to buy him a Christmas present because he'll still be in town. I'm not buying him nothing. He don't give me nothing. Oh, that, that doesn't seem right. Huh? That doesn't seem right. He should buy you a present. You let you let him live with you. He don't got no money. Franklin, Franklin don't never have no money in his pocket. You, you've got $6,400 in your pocket. Why don't you give him You got him any money in your pocket? A little bit. He said he got a little bit tonight. I don't know how much he got. A little bit. A little bit to me is like $900. Yeah. You're a high roller. Yep. Yep. Sometimes. You know, I ain't got no quarters in my pocket, though. Did you have Did you have any money on the Thanksgiving uh, football games? Did I? Uh-uh. Nope. Look at her. She's good looking. I just walked by a lady who was good looking. Yep. Franklin didn't she hit on her? Looking. Huh? Why didn't Franklin hit her? on her? I don't know. I don't know where he's at. You know why they call him Frankie O? Frankie O Nassus. He'd be tapping the Nassus. That's right. That's what they say. Yeah. Yeah. That's what uh, they All right, yeah. So, so Thanksgiving's over. Now, uh, tomorrow, <coughs> everyone's been waiting. Super huh. Deluxe Baby Fights. Yep. We got him. We got him right at my house. I don't know if anybody's in town to come see him tomorrow. But, uh... If they are, come on over. You can come see him. The baby is ready. He man, he took a big nap today too. Oh, yeah. he took a big old nap. And he's gonna take a nap tomorrow. And then Franklin's back over there talking to that lady that I said was a good looking lady. Really? Yeah. He's always well, trying to get my leftovers, man. Well, what does this oh, lady look like? Trying. What does the lady look mm -hmm. like? Describe her for us. She got a butt and two boobs. Yeah, I assumed. But does she look oh, like any yeah. celebrities or anybody we'd recognize? Mm, Joan Rivers? I don't know. Wow, she looks like Joan Rivers. No, nah, she don't look like Joan Rivers. Maybe Melissa Rivers. Oh, my goodness. It got worse. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she's hot. They, uh, a sale on a haircut is $15. Blow dry in style is 20 Seven foil highlights, 25 a bro wax is ten dollars. B r o w. You know how yeah, to I spell bro. That's brow. <laughs> that's brow. Not really bro. Yeah. I don't know what Franklin's doing. He's over here at this Dead Sea Spa care. Hold on. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> yeah, hey. please. Family show. Christ. Franklin, what you buying, man? What's that? Later. What about there? What is that? Where are you from? I'm from Israel. Yeah, where are you? You're from Israel? What part? The Rock, New Gaza. The Bronx? The Rock. The Rock? 
Neogasm. Neogasm? Oh, Jesus. Man. Did you see how tough it is? He over here buying some lotion, man. From some lady from Israel. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing. Well, I don't Franklin know. Franklin sure knows his way around the mall. He's a, he loves that place. I don't think he's never been here. He's getting stopped by all them crazy people be asking him all kind of junk. Oh, buy this, buy that, buy that, and then buy this. That's what they tell him. Well, what's, well, your favorite, what's your favorite store at the mall, Ed? What's the place you always go to when you go to the mall? Toys R Us, but we went there and they didn't have what we wanted. All right, what else? The Nike store, the Polo store. The Polo store? Ralph Lauren. Yeah, you're you're quite the fashion plate. Trying to get Franklin's uh, got wrinkles. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. What is that stuff? You're just peeling your face. Peeling for the face. His face going to peel off? It's all the dry skin and the dirt coming off. Yuck. It was only close to the face. That's gross. It's really gross. This is all the dirt. He got dry gross. skin everywhere like a goddamn lizard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she just peeled a whole bunch of skin off of his arm. Ugh. Can you believe that? Yeah. You guys should be like, look, look at this. Look at what's going on over here. Well, we, we can't see it. And for once, I'm yeah. quite happy about that. Your face will peel right off the ugly. <laughs> the ugly will peel right off the <laughs> Do the ugly peel off his face? What? Does the ugly peel off of his face? Where are you from? Huh? Where are you from? Las Vegas. Here, here. I don't know what's going on, but she said the ugly would not peel off of his face. Yeah, it's really laughed. not worth it. No, that's what I had to get. I had to get an ugly peel right off of the face. So I don't know. They got a Timberland store. I'm going to go in there and look around. All right. Ah, forget it. I don't want to look in there. Nah, yeah, I'm going to go in there and look around. Did you buy yeah, it? Would, would, would you like to talk to our buddy Elevation? I believe he's I'm on the line. Yeah, put Elevation on the phone, man. Talked to him about two years. Elevation. Elevation. Hey guys, what's going on? What? I just turned on Hello. the show. What's the, what's the Ed doing? Sounds like he's in a store or something. I'm yeah, in he's the mall. Shopping at the mall with Franklin. We're going, we going midnight shopping. It's Black Friday. Oh my God, is it crowded? Uh uh-uh. uh Franklin really? just got his face peeled. Or he didn't get his face peeled. He got his skin peeled off his arm. Come on, Franklin. <laughs> You need to talk to a lady in a wheelchair. She's more your speed, man. He's uh, with people. Well, I'm just telling you, man. When's the last time you ain't had a handicapped girlfriend? <laughs> oh. So the, yeah, the end, how was, yeah, how was your Thanksgiving? Oh, yeah, it was good, man. We had turkey and mashed potatoes and carrots and corn and, and, uh, and uh, mashed potatoes and a whole bunch of ham and turkey and... And chicken goblets and chicken and turkey and man, you wouldn't believe all the turkey we had, man. Who cooked it all? Not me. The lady, the lady cooking our food, she did it. Then my son, he was going oh, to help a little away. bit, huh? I thought she passed away. Yeah, she back. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yep. She was only dead to the end. She didn't oh. actually die. Yeah. Oh, good. That's a stunning recovery. Yeah, she's. She uh, she cooked a pretty good meal. She we even let her eat with us. Wow, you're letting the higher help eat with you. He must be feeling pretty generous. I don't know. It wasn't my decision. She's she's a a bad word. I gotta say. <laughs> did the end? Yep. Uh, did you uh, have you talked to your boy Floyd Mayweather lately? Nope. Nope, I nope. haven't seen Roger or Floyd. And Jeff, I always talk to Jeff. He always text messages me every day. But I ain't talked to Roger. No, I don't know where none of them at right now. They could be on vacation or get ready to start training or something for the Pacquiao fight. I hope so. When do you think that'll be? April, probably April or May. Mm-hmm. Do you think yep. it'll do... What do you think it's going to do on pay-per-view? Like more than two and a half million buys? 
I think right about two million. Yeah. Because that would what happens be like is, they only do about two million, but actually more than that will see it because people have fight parties and stuff. Mhm. So, yeah. I don't know. They gotta, so. they gotta start doing a different way of this, man, because it's. Like, not fair that they don't get all their pay-per-view money because each person don't got to pay. Everybody tries to be cheap and go, oh, I'm going to go to a friend house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's what I tend to do. I, I like, uh, when I watch WWE and UFC, or even, like, the big boxing fights, I usually watch it in, uh, in, in ways that aren't quite um, uh, legal. But <laughs> It's just fifty dollars is a lot of money to pay to watch television, you know. No matter what. Yeah, but, but listen, but no, but actually, it's not. If you go, if you were going to that event, a ticket cost more than fifty dollars. Yeah, that's true. And actually, when you watch it at home, you get a better seat. Plus, you got replays that the people at the fight don't even get. Yeah, but we have Larry Merchant. Yeah, Larry Merchant's bad. I remember one time we was in Los Angeles at the Lennox Lewis Vitaly Klitschko fight. And uh, I was over there sitting there, sitting out eating lunch with Larry Mercer. We were sitting there talking, and man, that dude, he just, man, just bur- rubbed me the wrong way, man. Rubbed me the wrong way. Well, he's got to be like 80 years old, too, right? Well, yeah, but he always tells about old stories that don't nobody care about. We're like, come on, Larry, what's wrong with you? Larry, Larry Mercer, the only time he dressed up is when he at the fight, because he went like, oh, holy sweat stuff. Jim Lampley and them don't even like him. I think, oh. uh, Ed, yeah, I would be all for you and Dell being the, the fight. Uh, you can let Dell do play-by-play, play and you be the analyst. Oh. Man, I should, be, I should be the analyst for every game there is. Man, but, yeah, man, what, what, what were you doing having man, lunch? I don't want to say doing... that, man. I don't want yeah. that goddamn hands being. <laughs> <Pretty. laughs> I don't smell your hand, man. Smell like a woman. Smell like a that noise? Woman. Yeah, I like, uh, like the was shoplifting with all the beats going on in the background. Nah, we in the... Yeah, in the, yeah, in the, yeah I was going to yeah. ask you why you're eating lunch with Larry Merchant, but now I want to know why is Franklin making you smell his hand. Because he's got that <laughs> goddamn lotion on it from that lady that was trying to peel his hands and ugly off uh, his face. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, why were you eating lunch with Larry Merchant? How about that question? Y- yeah, why, why were you eating lunch with him? We was in the ballroom there with the with the people with HBO and the fighter camps and all that when they do the interviews on the day before the fight. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And uh, they was uh, they was interviewing the fighters and stuff. I was there with them, so it wasn't no problem. Now, now, when you say you're eating lunch with Larry Merchant, does that mean you're at the same table with Larry Merchant, or you're in the same restaurant with Larry Merchant? No, me and him had our own table. <laughs> really, it was just you and Larry Merchant at the table. Yeah. Well, what did Larry have for lunch? Pasta. He did that goddamn pasta. He didn't have no meatballs with it either. I was like, Larry, you ain't gonna eat no meatballs? He's like, nah, pasta and salad. I was like, man, you better eat something. Just pasta and I salad, like Larry. pasta. <laughs> yeah, he had, to, he had to carbo load before the fight. You know, Tim Lampley yeah. got a wife. Well, you used to have a wife with one hand. Really? Yeah. She was a, uh, a TV say, anchor in Los Angeles. Did you say Lampley had a wife who had one hand? Yeah. Jim Lampley's ex-wife had one hand. She was a TV yeah. anchor in Los Angeles, yeah. And yeah. Franklin, oddly enough, used to date a woman who had a little Franklin hand. still dates a woman with a little bitty hand. Really? Ain't nothing wrong with it. Frank said, ain't nothing wrong with that. And, and why does he like to date the woman with the itty-bitty hand? Oh, no. Well, what's the best thing about dating a woman with a little bitty hand? I like you. He said he looks huge. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, Franklin. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. Hey, Ed, yeah, you, you always talk about how you see, like, boxers and guys like Chuck Liddell and Tito Ortiz. Actually, that's what I wanted to ask you. Did you watch Tito Ortiz's fight last weekend? Yeah, I fell asleep in the second round, though. Uh, yeah, I don't know why he was complaining that he got robbed. He clearly lost that fight. Yeah, he's a bum, man. It's over. It's over. I think, yeah, I think he's done. I think, I think Freddie Griffin is, too. Soon he'll be retired and trying to get, uh, he's appearing on my radio show probably. That's what his career's going. Tito Ortiz you know what he's going to be on your show? No, no, I was making a joke. Oh, all, the guys, all the guys who are retired come on my show. <laughs> That's what he needs to be. I don't know. But, uh, I don't know. oh, yeah, you're always talking about how you see, like, famous people, 
like boxers and Liddell and guys like that around Las Vegas. Do you ever see people like Dwell Brunson or Phil Hellmuth? Poker players? Oh, Dwell uh, Brunson, oh, Phil, uh-uh. But I'll tell you this. I'll tell you a fellow that I did know. Phil Ivey? Uh-uh, still younger. Uh. Yep. Yeah, he had a lot he of problems, my, didn't he? Yeah, one of my sons used to hang out with his son, Richie. And uh, Richie, he ended up killing himself back in, what, 1987? Yeah, he hung himself in, in the Las Vegas Hill. Yep, he died for his daddy did. Yep, over a girl. Yep. Well, uh, sure. I, apologize, I apologize for making your show head in a sour note. I didn't, I didn't know it was going to go there. Yeah, I mean, that's just what happened. Some people can handle it. Some people can't. The end. Before I let you go, did you uh, did you watch like the James Bond marathon or the Band of Brothers marathon on Thanksgiving? No, I watch football, man. That's the only American thing you can do. The American. Uh, I watch football the whole time. Those games were so bad, I couldn't. I couldn't stomach them. Why? Wow. See, that's that's ridiculous. See, that, that just shows me you're not a true fan. I hate when people complain about the games. Do you think every single game is going to be great? Do you think like every radio show that I do is going to be great? Of course not. But you got to listen to it and you got to watch it. Do you think people stomach my show and your show and the Dave show every single time? You can't always get your A game. Yeah, but I'm not a fan of like the Raiders or the Cowboys. Why should I watch it if the game's horrible? What, what interest do I have oh, in it? Well, I was a game football. Miles Austin has 24 goddamn fantasy points, and I, and I sent him on the bench this week. Jeez. Oh, right. that has to hurt. Yeah, I started yeah. Matthew Stafford. That was nice. Well, I mean, you got, what do you think? Listen, there's 32 goddamn teams. Half of them going to suck. <laughs> you, got, you, can't have 30, you can't have 32 winners. The Eagles play the Redskins this weekend. That should be a real barn burner. Hopefully, you have a prediction they'll, win. That Hopefully game? they'll win. This is what I hate about divisions, man, because you always see the same teams and the same goddamn retread. I'm tired of seeing Eagles, Redskins, Eagles, Cowboys, Giant Cowboys. They got to flip it around, man. I, I, these divisions. That's good. Just, I like that. Like every five years, flip around, or every year, make yeah. new divisions. Like I have a no. Like I have a. I have a simple solution. You know, it kind of like college football. Mm -hmm. But NFC, say Philadelphia Eagles, for instance, they play all, 50, all 15 of the other AFC teams. Okay? Right. Then, no, there's 15 other, I said, Frank, why the hell are you interrupting me? 16, I know. Six, look, listen. If the Eagles is one of the 16, there's only 15 left, retard. I said NFC. I didn't say AFC. Ah, shut up. Listen, <laughs> there's 16 NFC teams, and the Eagles is one of them. They have 15 other NFC teams. You just play each of those teams once every year. Like one year you play the Cowboys at home, and next year you play them on the road, just like our college flip-flip every year, you know? And right. then your 16th game will be against your natural rival. Like Philadelphia would always play the Steelers every single year. Well, that's a good idea. I like it's it. Your 16th game, so shut up, Frank. Jesus Christ. Then you add two more games to the schedule, 18 games. Where you got to get a beer? Yeah. You got to the goddamn Rebel gas station. Get in the beer. The, uh, then you, take, you make the schedule 18 games. Uh oh, uh, man, I almost pulled out in front of that car. We would have got, man, you would have got hurt, Frank. It was going to hit your side. <laughs> you think I got insurance? You don't know if I knew or not, but oh my dude. Yeah, it's being like Tiger now. Woods right now. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah, Tiger Woods woman beat him good, didn't she? She hit him with that goddamn golf club and then he wrecked the car. <laughs> you know that's what happened is she bashed out the window and hit him with the golf club. He passed out and drove the car right into the goddamn sprinkler uh, fire hydrant. That's what happened. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Come on, yet, man, Tiger Woods, Tiger Woods don't go out late. Tiger Woods don't go nowhere. How do you know? in the morning. Do I ever tell you guys anything is wrong? What's that? I said, do I ever tell you guys anything that's wrong? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you got to know that I know. I'm sure we could dig up something. Huh? I'm sure we could dig up something that you said wrong at one point. Ah. 
You think the Ultimate Warrior's good? That was the wrong statement. All right. Uh-oh. What is a hooker? Franklin thought he saw a hooker. Um, I don't know. We've been down this road yeah. before. Yeah, we have. Yeah. All right, yeah, my last, last question before I let you guys uh, keep going with your show. Who do you think Notre Dame should – first, do you think they should fire Charlie Weiss, or who do you think should be the new coach? Well, I think what, what's going to happen? See, I think they should just go on and hold him for another three years because whoever they get ain't going to change the program anyway. Wait for Urban Meyer to get a bad season in Florida, which it will happen, and then you go on and sign Urban Meyer. I'm playing video poker. I'm going to play a bonus. Good luck to try to get four of a kind with a hundred dollars real quick. I got two sixes. I need two more sixes. Nope. Got two sixes, two fours, and a three. Uh, two more sixes. Nope. Lost that one. King and ace. Nope. Lost that one. King and ace again. Oh, got two aces. Nope. Oh, oh, I got two aces. Uh oh, come on. Two more aces. Uh. Come on, Ace and Jack. Come on. Nope. This is my last chance. Two threes. Nope. Lost some five dollars. Oh, that's a shame. Five dollars is good. Good life. All right, Elevation. Well, thanks for calling, buddy. We appreciate it. That was compelling. All right, guys. Have a good show. All right. There he goes, Elevation. Uh, now, the Ed, are you guys still at the mall? Where are you guys at right now? Now, nah, we had this. We had this. Uh, oh, yeah. You went to the convenience store. store. Yeah. Yeah. Five beer. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now, before we uh, got away from it there, we were talking about the Super Baby fights. Tomorrow, not, tomorrow uh, 6 o'clock your time, right? That's when it starts? Yeah, they're going to start. We're going to have my, my baby going to beat the Detroit girl up. That's the main event. But it's a, it's a yeah. big five-fight card. The first time in Super Baby Fights history, you have five fights. Yeah, I'm frankly started in this car, man. And, let, and man, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Stinks in here, man. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that's not good. Oh, man. Good Lord, man. He's still in the store buying his drink. Yeah, we got five fights on the card. Well, wait a minute, Pete. Wait a minute. Franklin's in the store buying his drink, yet someone farted in the car. You sure that wasn't you yet? No, no, no. I'm saying when he got out, he farted and closed it up. So when I opened the door and got oh, back in, the fart was still there. So it wasn't you doing it. No, man, my smarts don't stink. Oh, okay. Yeah, I figured as much, but yeah. All right, so the Super Baby Fights, five-fight card. Run it down for us. I don't got it in front of me. Yeah, I didn't think you did. I believe, uh, I don't, I'll try and remember it. You have a you tag, the tag team match. Team with the Mexico kids. Yeah. He's fighting California Kenny and uh, Little Ugly Boy, I think they're teaming up. Or maybe yeah. Black Doug. I think it might be Black Doug and California Kenny. Can't remember which one's fighting who. Yeah, you but, got a tag team match, the two Mexico kids. And once again, the two Mexico kids are nothing if not showmen. It's always very exciting to see them come to the triangle. Because, oh, once again, uh, there's a triangle in the Ed's backyard, not an octagon. And the babies go in, the babies fight, first one to cry loses. But the two Mexico kids, they, they come to the ring with sparklers and, and silk robes and masks. It's, it's tremendous. Yeah. It's quite the spectacle. Yeah. Hey, Franklin, you fart in the car and leave. Did you fart in this car before you got out? Yeah, why? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, why? <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I apologize, the car. Yeah. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> I like a big old monkey fart. <laughs> That's awful, man. Yeah, here, I thought I thought the Ed, you were trying to, you know, pull fast on it. I knew he did it. I knew he did yeah. it. I knew he did it. He's dirty, man. He's dirty. <laughs> Tell the truth. All right. Yeah. Now, also on the card, I believe a little baby Gene is making his debut. Yeah, I like little baby Gene because <laughs> his mom spent the night last night. She... Wait, wait, yeah, wait. L little baby Gene's mom spent right? the night. Yeah, little ugly boy's mom has stayed the night a few nights before that. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're the commissioner of the Super Baby Fighting uh, League. Yeah. And you're having mothers of the combatants spend uh, spend an evening with you. That seems uh, unethical, Ed. It, it seems like uh, something's going on. We discussing things. What are you discussing exactly? Careers. Career move. 
Yeah, this is what I'm getting at. If, if the mother happens to spend the night with you, does it help her baby-fighting son's career? I don't know, but it helps me out. Man, come on, fight. Let's stop fighting <laughs> like that, man. I'm about to drop you off on God. God dang, Jesus Christ, man. Oh, uh, man. Hey, man, are you, are you walking the Mexico kids down the ring in the baby fight this weekend? Yeah. You gonna walk them down the ring? Uh, Franklin said he's gonna walk with the Mexico kids. Franklin, he liked the Mexico kid's mom. Did you have oh, yeah. the little Mexico kid you have to get with her? Not yet. Not yet. I'm working on it. Daddy's right. working on it. She speak English? He don't know. <laughs> oh, you speak Spanish? Yeah, he said, see, I guess he does. <laughs> Christ, Franklin. Franklin knows it all. You check out my cognitive. Huh? What is that? Huh? Yo, Carol, my dick in your mouth. He said, Yo, Carol, my dick in your mouth. What? That's Spanish? What's that mean? What's up? What does that mean in Spanish? You want it. It means you want it. <laughs> I don't know. I guess that's what it means. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's how it so. goes. So the baby fights gets underway at six o'clock tomorrow. Now, are you taking a lot of action on it? A lot of bets, a lot of money coming in. I'm trying. Uh, I'm are you trying. expecting a big you crowd. Gotta make some bets, huh? Are you expecting a big crowd for the event? Uh, we, yeah, we got about twenty, thirty people. Twenty or thirty people. Yeah. I'll be back in a minute, Franklin. All right. All right, I'll see you in a minute, man. Where are you going? I gotta go to the grocery store. Oh. I dropped well, what, off at the house. What do you have to get at the grocery store? Get back in there. I forgot to get him at the convenience store. Wait, wait, wait. Your phone broke up. You have to get a what? I said I got to get some M&M's. I forgot, oh. I forgot him at the convenience store. Man, that's you like, funny. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> you like the M&M's, do you? Yeah, M&M's and Coca-Cola. They're about my two favorites that you could probably ever get in America. Now, uh, is the M and M eating in any way interfering with your Oreo eating? Nope. I've been cutting down on my Oreos, and uh, I gotta add them up again because I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to do it so I can eat the ten thousandth Oreo on New Year's Eve at eleven fifty nine. That that will be nice. Yeah. La- last time we uh, we checked, I believe you're at nine thousand three hundred sixty six Oreos. That was a well, I got more than that now. Yeah. yeah. I- I'm close to ninety five hundred now. You still almost to go. Down. Yeah, I know. Because if I eat two a day for like another, I don't know how many days, I'll, I'll probably be close. Yeah, probably. Yep. Two a day. Yeah. Hey, do you want to take another caller? Yeah, I don't care who's on the phone. Uh, let's see. Uh, hold on one second. Caller in the 714 area code. Are you there? Yeah, what's up, number one nine? It's MJ Martin. It's MJ Martin, the Ed. MJ Martin, listen to this. This kid's devastated. Why is he devastated? He could tell the story. Oh, that's <laughs> it. Uh, well, last night I went to, uh, uh, my family was, my family doesn't live in the same town, so I went over to. Uh, He's not even invited oh. to his own family. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I went over to his, a co-worker's house, and his wife is Asian, and she made, she made white rice instead of mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving. Yeah, that hurts. Yeah. I'd have smacked that lady in the mouth. <laughs> I'd have strangled her. I said, I said, listen here, Chinese lady, you in America. You got to do as we do. They didn't even have any, like, soy sauce or anything for the rice or teriyaki sauce, something to kind of, it was just plain old white rice. White rice. Yeah. That's a goddamn shame, man. Did you just act like it was potatoes? I was just trying now, to be I've polite, heard, you know. I've, like, heard of, I've heard of stove top instead of potatoes, but I've never heard of white rice instead of potatoes. Uh, MJ Martin, did you just sit there and look at your plate and say, I sure wish this was potatoes. I sure <laughs> wish this was potatoes. I don't know if I get that uh, reference. Oh, I'm sorry. The Ed, the Ed did that one time when the uh, the lady that cooks for him made meatloaf, and he wanted chicken. <laughs> and, he, and he just sat there and said, I, I sure wish this was chicken. Do you remember that? Oh, that's right. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> uh, 
So, hey, Ed, uh, just uh, just one thing to help out uh, help out Franklin uh, when he was trying to speak when he was trying to speak in Spanish, uh, he said something like "quiero a dick in your mouth" or something like that. And "quiero" means "I want." So, just let him know if he wants to ask. If he wants, That's not good. Yeah. If he wants to ask the Spanish, the Mexican lady, uh, the mom, he needs to say "quieres," which means "do you want" instead of "I want." Or do you want? That's probably why he ain't got with it yet. She might think that he's saying that that she has a dick and he wants he wants to suck it or something oh, like that. And that, that conversation is going a lot of ways. Oh my God, Franklin's in trouble now. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing you called MJ Martin. Yeah. yeah, I know. I don't even know how to speak no Spanish. Taco, no, no, no. burrito, and chilito, exactly. Taco yeah. Bell. Yeah. MJ Martin, you were at in town in Vegas there for the last Super Baby fight. You got to witness it in person. Yeah. Are you are you sad that you're going to miss tomorrow night's event? Well, I mean, if you remember <laughs> at the end of uh, at the end of the, uh, the the girl from Detroit's fight with the Mexico kids, um, Ed had Ed had the baby go like face off with uh, right. with yeah. the, with that Detroit girl. So it's kind of like. Uh, in a in a similar vein to the how uh, Pacquiao just beat Cotto, um, obviously Cotto would be the Mexico kids and Pacquiao would be the Detroit girl. Now it's like the super fight, you know. So yeah, I'm missing like I'm missing the super fight. I got to see like the the build up fight. So yeah, I'm pretty disappointed. No, do well, you have any money? Any there, money riding on the fight? Just the airplane on it. Hey, did you yeah. you still mess with that girl that you met in Las Vegas? <laughs> oh, that girl Sarah. Yeah. I, you know, I uh, I haven't been I haven't talked to her in a minute. She uh, she's got a kid, you know. So I'm I don't know if like uh, I don't she uh, she didn't respond to a text. I don't know if she's getting back with uh, with 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 the with the baby's father or what's going on. I thought so. You just did one of the things they call hit it and quit it. <laughs> well, I was trying to keep the door open for you know the next time I go in town. Like I told you, I I looked yeah, at her on the talking, uh, on the. She was talking all kind of trash, talking about you with her. Her man. Yeah, she. I told her I was seeing some other girls up in Portland, and she said, "This is going to be a situation where you're seeing other girls now, but very soon I'll be the only girl you'll be seeing, or something like that." Uh, and I was then like, "How can uh, I see you if you're sleeping with somebody else, you know? <laughs> well, I mean, the parlay I was trying to make was, uh, she's got a uh, like. I looked on her uh, on her Facebook page, and, and somebody was texting her. There's a bunch of girls from like the topless reviews in uh in Las Vegas that are friends with her, so I figured I trying I'm to. Gonna go, I'm gonna go up there to that goddamn Venetian. I'm gonna say, look, bitch, you need to call MJ Martin because you're fooling around, and this guy really wants to get some more nasty stuff off of you. <laughs> well, you know, I figure next time I'm in town, man. I know I know you enjoy the company of women. Maybe maybe she'll bring a few friends around. Uh, that's one thing we didn't ask her when we were hanging out. Would she bring some friends out for you? I know I got sixty four hundred dollars in my pocket. That's, That's right. At least buy one of them for an hour. <laughs> at least, man. Yeah. I know. I'm hey, Ed, I don't know if you know this, by the way. Uh, Pitt, Pitt just lost to West Virginia tonight, man. Pitt, awful. They were top ten. They were number twelve in my rankings. Oh, really? You need to look at the Ed Super Deluxe dice ratings. People you probably still got Oklahoma time. in the top ten. <laughs> no, no, they thirty something. They uh yesterday I had a big I had a big event yesterday. I had I had the the worst sixteen teams ever in the NFL face off to see who the worst team of all time was. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah. But we found yeah. out that the seventy six Buccaneers are the worst team ever. But they struggled against the, the 81 Baltimore Colts. They almost struggled and won. So you you, had, you did the whole tournament yesterday? I, did, I, I looked at the beginning of the thread. I thought, I thought you wanted everybody to pick a team or something like that. Huh? Did, were you just doing a playoff? I thought you wanted everybody to, like, pick a worst team ever or something like that. Uh, I played it out. No one, man, didn't no one care about it, though. I was yet. I correctly predicted that the Bucks would would be the ultimate loser. Well, you was right. Do I win a prize? Uh. Uh-uh. All right. 
I got some other yeah. prizes. I got some other prizes. Yeah, some of these teams, they do stink. Um, Ed, uh, I wanted to find out, you know, we've been talking about the boxing. Did you, uh, have you changed your tune on Pacquiao after seeing him dismantle Cotto like that? No, not even close, man, because listen, you guys, listen, fail to understand that those guys that Pacquiao fights, they're perfect for his style of fighting. And you're going to see when Pacquiao fights Floyd that Pacquiao is not as fast as it appears. Mm-hmm. Floyd. Do you think, uh, um, <laughs> what do you think, what do you think the betting line will come off at? It's already out. It's, it, it's like pretty much even. Pacquiao might be a slight favorite. And, uh, my, and it's even in some places. Minus 120 for either fighter in some other places. So, but, and it's going to be funny because I'm taking Floyd as a dog. It, it, I mean, it's ridiculous, man. The guy, the guy was barely retired, and he never really retired. He still trained every single day. He took about a 30-day vacation and then started training. So, I mean, the Pacquiao thing, those guys, he's just the flavor of the month right now. But Floyd ain't lost since he was got dang, what, 13, 14 year old, man. Just like a kid, just like just on Showtime the other night, a kid named Andre Ward fought a kid named Michael Kessler. They all thought Michael Kessler was going to beat this kid. Andre Ward hadn't lost since he was nine years old, but they said he was young. These kids Michael don't Kessler lost to Calzaghe, right? Yeah, Calzaghe supposed to be the truth and, and, and nothing but the truth and all that, but Calzaghe, he don't want to fight nobody in America. Yeah, he did kind of the over-the-hill circuit with Hopkins and Roy Jones. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but Roy, I'm not Roy, but, but Floyd will, will, will uh, stop Pacquiao. Probably later rounds Pacquiao will give up or Floyd will just win a straight unanimous decision. Here's one thing about Pacquiao and the other fighters that you see. Pacquiao, okay, beat Cotto, right? Mm-hmm. But one thing that he did not do is beat him every round. Floyd That's don't true. lose rounds. Floyd don't lose rounds, let alone fights. You guys forget I had this. A, I had a little, I had, I had something, a thought on this fight, and I wonder what you thought about this. Now, the one thing about Floyd is his fights always suck, or most of the time they suck. Well, why, he, why does he, he don't, suck? Because he doesn't knock people out? The he doesn't knock people boxing. out. So the game is not called knockout. The game is called boxing, okay? If the game was called knockout, okay, how many UFC fights do you see guys uh, laying around rolling on the ground? Oh, yeah, that's real good, ain't it? Yeah, can I, can I explain my theory on this? Yeah. The, the thing about Floyd is his favorite thing in the world is making money, right? Yeah, uh-huh. So the way he could make, he's going to get probably, what do you say, $30 million for this fight? Probably 45 Right. The way he could make the most money would be to make this thing a trilogy. So his, wouldn't it make sense for he's him for listening. this fight to bang he's it out? In, no, because he's not interested in that because he's never had a rematch except with one guy ever. And usually people, here's what happens. When you try to make a trilogy and all that, and, and Floyd ain't going to make it a trilogy because he's not going to lose because his legacy of being an undefe- undefeated fighter is way more important than money because once he gets this 45 50 million dollars for this fight then he'll go ahead he may fight Pacquiao for the second time and get another 45 or 50 million but he'll never fight to where it's going to be a loss he wants to just he wants to dominate he wants to go down as the greatest fighter of all time he wants to be like Sugar Ray Robinson and Muhammad Ali and all those guys He's the greatest fighter that you guys ever going to see, but you guys can't appreciate it because, oh, he don't knock people out. He knocked, he knocked the hell out of Diego Corrales. And listen, and what people forget, too, they all say, oh, yeah, well, Pacquiao is moving up all these weight classes and junk. Where do you think Floyd came from, the 120-some pound weight classes, the 130-pound weight classes? That's where Floyd was and was unstoppable. And the only reason that Barrera, and Morel, uh, Eric Morrell and all those guys and, and all of them even got a chance to be the champion at that weight class is because Floyd vacated the titles and moved up. 
everybody forgets that who was the champ before Barrera and Pacquiao and all that trash back then? It was Floyd. He was the original little man that came up. You didn't know that, did you? I know. I, well, I've talked to you about it before. I know that Floyd, like, the reason Floyd doesn't go up anymore is he just can't, he can't really carry anymore. His body doesn't. Yeah. Like he he already he fights he weigh, he fights at what he weighs in at I know that exactly yeah that's it he but he but he always fought man he was fighting at one twenty six one twenty seven one thirty one thirty five could no one beat him in he fought Diego Corrales at one thirty five and beat the dog mess out of him knocked him down six times in the fight no one else had even knocked down Diego Corrales before well this fight it looks like to me it looks like uh, a true kind of like Joe Frazier, Muhammad Ali stylistic clash. So I'll be interested to see. And Floyd's got to slow down at some point, man. He's in his 30s now, you know. Pacquiao's in his 30s, so what you saying? I'm just saying, like, Floyd's reflexes. I mean, you know, if you're just going to be a fighter who just throws a lot of punches, you can do that for a while. But, you know, it's only so long that Floyd can dodge every punch thrown at him because he's quick, because he's quicker than everybody. Well, I don't know. It oh, should be a good fight. Yeah. Hey, uh, number one nine, before I go, I just wanted to ask you one question. It seems like on the message board lately, a lot of people have been challenging your conspiracy theories. What do you attribute this to? Uh, yeah, I don't know. People not liking uh, truth, apparently. That's what I like to think. Yeah. <laughs> um, you and that, uh, is that, that Asian guy, how do you say his name? Equizen? Equizen? Uh, what is it? Well, it's equation, but the other like to say equizen. <laughs> I think we either. Yeah, that guy. You and that guy, man. You guys need to sit down and have a cup of coffee or something like that. Man. He's a good kid. He's a good kid. Now, uh, MJ Martin, there's something else I was going to say. Oh, the fantasy football. We've got about three minutes left in the show, and you're always talking mm-hmm. trash about uh, how great your fantasy football team is. And then last week, our, our buddy Major Minority tied you. Yeah, Major Minority should have won because he didn't even start a head coach and started raising Bush like a dummy. That's right. Listen, Major Minority talking about all this. I mean, MJ Martin talking about all this stuff that, oh, his team is best. He's leading them in scoring. But when he really needs these points, he's not going to get them. I even told him, score the Monday night game was me and him talk. I told him what was going to go down in the game. I said, Chris Johnson would not score a touchdown. I said, in this corner, uh, the score is going to be like 20 to 17 and all this stuff. He know, and I told him the game was going to, how it was going to be, and he saw what happened. MJ Martin, is that true? Ed and I did talk about it, and, you know, I had Rob Barone has kicked two 50-plus yard field goals at the end of the game, and that definitely hurt the cause. But the bottom line is I've led the league in scoring five times this year, man. Yeah, but that that means, means if I played every single one of you fools, I would be like I'd already have five wins. I'd have, I'd have more wins than majority minority would have. Yeah, but that means I mean, majority minority is the worst coach since Tony Dungy. He should have beat Ed, and he should have beat me because he had the Saints coach at the beginning of the year as his coach, and he cut his coach for no reason so he could get an extra bench like wide receiver or something like that. So, MJ Martin, I take this to mean that you have the best record in the league. <laughs> Earl Campbell, Earl Campbell's eight and three. Oh, uh, that's right. There it is. That's my team. Your team, your team, your team is falling apart, man. I was yeah. looking at your roster just the other day. You got all your best players are hurt. A little bit, a little bit. It will rebound. It's all right. We don't need to win right now. We just need to win in the playoffs. You did make a good trade. Whoever you got, whoever you traded, Drew Brees. You got Aaron Rodgers, who's been playing better than Brees, and two other players for him. Well, yeah, that, but then I, I swapped them to the Ed for Steve Slayton, and now it looks like Steve Slayton. I don't know what he's doing. Houston, they're, they're starting Chris Brown. Really? You're going to start Chris Brown? I don't. Know. Yeah, Chris yeah. Brown's terrible. Yeah, I mean, you're starting. I mean, I mean, honestly, like you, your team is limping into the playoffs. You got Antonio Bryan in your starting lineup this week, man. Well, because Michael Porter's horrible. out. What am I supposed to do? You know. <laughs> and then me and me and number one nine played for the champ for for the division title on the last game of the season. Yeah, whoever oh, was that, right? will get the top seed probably. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, I hope to play. Uh, I hope to play number one nine's team in the playoffs because prior to the season. He was highly critical yes, of my Yeah, of I, I my have trade. to say, I was very, uh, you know, ripping on you there for uh, the Chris Johnson. I said, Chris Johnson, who canceled you? And Chris Johnson, he proved me wrong. 
So congratulations. Yeah, I, I actually I tried to trade I tried to trade Chris Johnson this year too to to a Street Dreamer, but he uh he he turned it down. I wanted to get Frank Gore, and uh and, and uh Street Dreamer said he made a mistake. So I didn't see Chris Johnson coming either to be honest. With you. Uh, all right, fellas, we're about out of time. So uh, the Ed, is there anything else you'd like to say? I guess just don't let him talk bad about you. Now it's time to say goodbye to Ed and all his friends. They would like to thank you folks for kindly dropping in. You're all invited back next week to listen to my show. So get yourself a couple paychecks and go and buy a hoe. Y'all come back now. Yeah.